Good morning, y'all. I've got a log up here on my horses. This is going to be the log for a wall. And now that I'm in the doorway, I'll be putting two separate logs in. And we've got to remember that we're working everything and thinking in terms of being on the inside of the building. So we'll have AR, which will be this part here, and AL, which will be this shorter piece here, which is three foot one. And then with the doorway will be in here. And the piece that goes on the right side is the total length of it is nine foot and eight inches. Now I'm going to work these two separate pieces in one log, but I'm going to be using two separate center lines. And I'm going to go ahead and get this log plane and uh, I'll get back with you. If you look down this log, it's got a slight crown on the top side of it. I always put the crowns up. I'll snap two separate center lines on this log and that way I can take this shorter piece and work it with the bulk of the, of the whole, whole log here. But I'll, I've, since I have a crown here, if I had just snapped from my shoulder on the left log to the shoulder of the right log up there, right in this area, my center line would be off. And it would look like this log was tilted up coming up against the doorway. So I can work this as two separate pieces and I'll be using two separate center lines. I'll have a center line for the four, this is round four, uh, four AL, which will be on the left side of the doorway, and four AR, which will be on the right side of the doorway. And I can make these log, these two pieces line up easier on the top side of the building by using two separate center lines. But I'm going to go ahead and snap a center line, which from here where my fingers are to the other end would be that piece. But I can use this same mark that I made here with my square coming across from either side and get in the center. I can use that same mark for this log, but I'll be using a different center mark on this end. Right where my pencil is is where these two separate white center lines actually intersect. I've already got both of them snapped. And I hope this will show up here. But if you can see the letters 4AL, there's a center line right above my little pinky. And just above that is another center line that is actually for 4AR. So there's two separate center lines. This log probably could have been worked with one center line because these are only, oh, about 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths inches apart. But I wanted to show you how you could do that if you had a log that had a curve in it or a crown in it and you were working it as one piece on your horses. And I'll also plumb down the center line for 4 AR. And I'll be able to keep those separated. I'll do that on either end. When I cut the end of this off, I lay my square up there and, and get a cut off for 4 AL, I will plumb down the center line. Okay, I've got the notch laid out on 4 AL. I'm coming up from the center line 4 and an eighth on the upper part of the notch here. And coming down 3 and an eighth on the, the lower part of the, the notch. But if you can see, I've got the center line on the end of the log that pertains to 4 AL. And this center line right here, plumb line down from the other center line, since we're working with two different center lines, we need to keep up with which center line goes where. So to keep me from getting confused which one of these lines here to work this angle of the dovetail when I put my template on there up against the a level, I just made just a little bit of a mark down here at the bottom. And when this log is flipped over, I will know that this is the mark that goes to 4AR. And I do, I'll do the same thing on the other end for the 4AL log, center line that snapped the full length of this log. I'll just make a little bit of a mark at the bottom. And then on 4AR, I'll make a full plumb line mark for it. And that way I'll be able to keep all this separated. Okay, I have both cut lines established. This is the, the end of the log. 
where I'll cut along this line for the for this piece and this is the line that will be cut for 4AR and I'll also come back and I'll put flat spot on the top and the bottom of either either piece where I'll put the blocking in which actually holds these logs up level in the wall but I'll have to work off the center line that is 4 4 AR for the the two flat spots that goes on it and the center line for 4 AL for the uh, flat spots that go on it now right in here these these center lines are really really close on this end I only marked the center line for 4 AR and I, I do have two center lines here for 4 AL but I know which one to, to actually work off of to uh, establish my flat spots up here that I'll cut. Okay, I'm ready to transfer the center line to the outside. I'm working off of the, the right log, the 4AR, and this is my little mark that I made, just a small plumb mark off the inside face. I'm just pulling it right up there pretty snug. Snap my line, and I'll do the same thing here. I'll, I'll transfer this center line that's on the, the AL log to the other end and get my center line that actually will only pertain to 4 AL. Okay, I need to put flat spots on either end of these logs. On the 4AL log, the flat spot goes right here. The blocking will hold the logs up as the wall increases in height. I will work this flat spot off the center line of 4AL, and I will work this flat spot off the center line of, of 4AR. Okay, this log is ready to take up to the cabin and when I get it up there all I'll have to do before I can set either piece is just take my chainsaw and cut these two lines right here that's the end of the log flat spots are on and they'll be ready to put on the wall okay I'm ready now to cut these two logs this little section out here this is 4AL and 4AR I'll cut 4AL first then I'll cut this little bit off 4AR and start loading this on the trailer. 